Pete crosses the road. It was a perfect spring morning. Peep, Chirp, and Quack were marching to somewhere when Quack decided to liven things up a bit. I know something you don't know. Yeah? What? Oh. Oh. It's a joke, and you don't know the answer. Here it is. <clears throat> Why did the... You're not listening, Peep. Oh, sorry. Okay, here it is. Why did the chicken cross the road? <coughs> hey, well? Well, what? Don't you know how a joke works? Hey. I ask a question and you guess the answer. Oh, okay. Why did the chicken cross the road? Hmm, why did he why cross the road? Did Let's see. Peep, do you know? Do you know this road. joke? Do you know? Okay. We have no idea. Ha! See, I told you I knew something you didn't. No! <laughs> Tripping ducks like that. You should be more careful. Okay then. <laughs> Well, what is it? What is what? The answer. Why did the chicken cross the road? Oh, right. Uh, he crossed the road because he wanted to, uh, because, uh, well, he wanted to... Oh! Oh, that stick made me forget. Quack! All that morning, Quack tried to remember the punchline to his joke. Well, that's not it. Hmm. <laughs> uh, no, that's not it either. Hmm. Who told you the joke? Why don't you just go ask them? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I don't remember that either. Oh, brother. I know. I'm a chicken, right? So why don't I cross a road and and find out why I crossed it? That's a great idea, Peep. You're incredible. Let's go. Now, everyone knows that kids shouldn't cross the road without a grown-up. But most chickens have never heard of this rule. Hmm. How do they use these things for anyway? Are you ready? Here I go! I'm crossing it! Be careful, Peep! What Quack didn't know, what none of them knew, is that roads are used by things that move very, very fast. Peep! Stay where you are! Don't move! Things like bicycles and skateboards and cars and trucks. Things that don't go well with chickens. And so, until the traffic cleared, Peep was stuck. But just when Peep thought things couldn't get any worse... Whoa! Uh. Whoa! Help! Whoa! Oh, no! Water! Cold, 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 cold. Hello?
Peep had landed in a storm drain, which ran underneath the road from one side to the other. To get home, all he needed to do was ride a leaf. I could ride a leaf. I did it! Hooray! Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. <gasps> I need something bigger than a leaf, and not as wobbly. <gasps> a rock! A rock doesn't wobble. If only I could get to it. Unlike the leaf, the rock was not in any danger of sinking. In fact, it couldn't sink because most of it was already on the bottom. <sighs> I guess I need something that floats. Too pointy. Too bouncy. Too... What is that? This might work. The bark made a perfect raft. It was flat, big enough for Peep to stand on, and not too wobbly. And no time at all, it brought him to the brink of disaster. Quack, haven't I told you never to cross a road? Roads are dangerous. Well, it wasn't my idea. It was, um... Hmm. Uh, somebody else's idea. Yeah, that's it. I'll go see if I can find him. Hi, everybody! Peep! Peep! Oh, oh, <laughs> Yay! Roger back. Roger home. You won't do that ever again, will you, Peep? No, I like it much better on this side. What made you do such a silly thing anyway? Cross the road? Just to get to the other side, I guess. And to see if I... That's it! That's the answer. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side! That's it! I remembered, see? I told you I'd remember. He ya ta 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 quack. Ya ta 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 quack. He ya ta 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 quack. Hey, I know another joke. No, no more jokes. Ah, oh, but it's a good one, chirp. And I remember the punchline too. Cuckoo clock. Get it? A cuckoo clock? I do know how to tell a joke. Wouldn't you agree? Not everyone can. But ducks are excellent joke tellers. Ducks are pretty much excellent. At Eric, Grace, Grace's mom, and I are going into the woods. Okay, let's we found a stream. Grace is trying to put a leaf in the water. Let's see if it goes down. It's going really fast. Who's going? I think it's over there. It got stuck on a branch. Yeah. I have a piece of bark and a piece of leaf Maybe that, that could be a fair or something. And sunk. A piece of bark. I think no. it might get stuck at the It might. It might get stuck and then sink. Yeah. It's down here, can you see? It's under the water. Turn on the water. Then we went home, and Grace's mother turned on the hose. Hey, Caroline, Eric, I made a stream. I want to try this. We were putting leaves and flowers into the stream. Flowers. 
Oh, the flower's going down really fast. Um, I think it went down fast, maybe because the petals went out and the water kind of caught the petals and like pushed it down. Try putting things in a stream of water to see how they move. Peep feet. Things are hard to understand, but become clearer after you investigate. Huh? Other things are never clear. That's when you know it's time to ask. What are you doing? Measuring! I say Quack is a little bit bigger than me. And he says he's a big load bigger. Yeah, you be the judge. Hmm. Whoa! Ah! So is it a little bit or a big load? Hmm. I'd say Quack is a squints bigger. What's, What's a, a scoot? It's, you know, a scoot. Ah! Excuse me, birdies. You're standing in my sun. Forget it, Tom. We're not moving one scoot. Hmm. Well, it's too bad you're not moving. Because you're missing the most amazing thing ever. Hmm. What? Only the most beautiful flower in the world, and it's blooming now. Tom knew that Peep would have trouble resisting the chance to see something new. <gasps> A beautiful flower? I want to see it! It's six steps past Raven's Ravine. before it wilts. <laughs> the sun is mine. Oh, mine. Chirp and Quack ran all the way to Raven's Ravine and then took six extra steps. One, two, three, four, five, six! All I see is a rock. There's nothing here. Not even you. You're way over there. made this up so he could lie in our sun. Let's go home. Peep. Whoa! Is this a bird parade? I'll get the family! We rabbits love parades! No, it's just three birds who were fooled by a cat. Tom told us there was an amazing flower six steps from Raven's Ravine. Oh, I... oh, there is. But it's not six steps. How do we find it? Tell us. It's exactly two hops from Raven's Ravine. Go back, hop twice, and you'll find it. So, Peep, Chirp, and Quack ran back to Raven's Ravine. And hopped. Uh. Twice. Uh. Fooled again. Come on. Hmm. On their way home, they
they met an inchworm who said he'd seen the plant too. But it wasn't two hops from Raven's Ravine, it was 30 squirms. But after 30 squirms, there was still no plant. That's it. I quit. Everybody's fooling us. Why would they fool us? Maybe they all measure differently. We don't step or hop or squirm like they do. Peep! Ah! Hey, my hat! I'll get it. Peep looked up. He found himself staring at the most amazing flower he'd ever seen. Oh. That must be it. And if it's not, it should be. Peep wanted to bring his friends to see it. 37. So he carefully counted his steps. 40. 41. Where's my hat? I want to show you something. I hope it's my hat. The sun is beating down on my little blue head. Ow, hot, burning. It's 41 steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, 39, 40, 41. Look! My hat! No, it's the flower. Oh, yeah. Oh. But that wasn't 41 steps, Peep. It was 26. Maybe for you, but it's 41 for me. You know, I want to tell everyone where that flower is. But how can I? Everybody's got a different step. We'll say it's 41 peep feet. But what if you're not around? You can't leave us your feet. <laughs> leave us your... Or can you? From now on, we measure everything in peep feet. And I know what to measure first. <sighs> hmm. Quack is exactly one and a half peep feet taller. Did you include my hat? No. Why would I include your hat? It's part of my head. Okay. <clears throat> okay. This time with the hat. Okay? No, Quack. That's cheating. Fine, Ooh. be that way. But I'm one and a half peep feet and a hat taller. And that's an exact measurement. So I was right. You're just a little bit taller. No, I'm a big load taller. <laughs> More like a scoots. This is me and my sister, Capri. We are building towers with colored bricks. We're trying to make them as tall as we can. This is one Capri in two blocks. We're going to see how many bricks tall I am and how many bricks tall Capri is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Capri is fifteen bricks tall. Now could I push this down? Now do me, Capri. Hola, 15, 16, 17. I am two bricks taller than her. We're trying to use all the bricks to make one tower together. The tower is about one brick taller than Capri. It's probably 16 bricks tall. Uno, dos, tres, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. When you measure things, you have to count. Cuatro, seis, quince. 
That's 15. When I counted in Spanish, I got 15. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then I counted in English. 14, 15, 16. But then I got 16, and I did not know what it was wrong. The first time I counted in Spanish, I counted wrong. So I counted again in Spanish, and then I got 16. That's 16. See if you can figure out how to measure things at home.